Hey there, and welcome to day four of the challenge. Now, today I'm going to do a little bit of a follow up to yesterday's lesson about using the blogging calendar. This one, I'm actually going to bring a lesson from old school media into what we do in the new media. Now, in old school media, when I'm talking about print and television, what you may not really think about is the fact that that content that they are giving you is usually created well in advance of when you see it. Now, in on TV, you know, you got the talk shows like Oprah and Ellen and these people. Um, they actually do record those things in advance. Now, sometimes it's not seriously in advance. I believe Ellen probably records maybe the day prior to when it actually airs. I don't know what Oprah used to do when her show was still active, but. Uh, they're recorded in advance. Not only that, the planning for it is done well in advance. Usually, they probably already know who is going to be a guest on the show well in advance of when it actually gets recorded, and then it's recorded in advance of when you actually would see it on television. Now, in print, it's even bigger. I mean, when you get these magazines, um, usually the content of that magazine was done well in advance of when you actually get the issue in your hand. And sometimes you may actually see, um, you know, in a, in a timely type of a, of a magazine, like, like a tech thing where things change quickly, sometimes you'll actually see the magazine, even though it's a current issue, and you'll notice that what it's saying is already a little bit dated. It's because it was written like a long time time ago. So it is done in advance. Now, how can you take this lesson over to new media and to your blogging? Well, write your stuff in advance. I talked about the calendar so you can actually keep track of when certain things are going to go live. Uh, the other thing is you can write in batches. This is something that I've recommended many times before as a way to, when you're in that creative mode, you can actually create several posts at one time um, and you know good quality stuff and then you've got your blog set for some period of time. In my case, a lot of times I will actually write my content for the next week and I'll do it all on Friday the prior week. Um, so it's not like I'm sitting there all week just like writing. I'm not. I do it usually in one sitting and then it's my site is set for a little while. Um, but another thing, and this is really important, and we're going to go over to my screen in a minute and I'll diagram this out, but is depending on what kind of marketing things that you might have going on, whether it be promoting a product or whether you're running a contest or uh, just releasing some kind of a free report, whatever it is that you might be doing, when you plan things in advance, you can be a lot more strategic as to um, having it all jive together. So you can have blog posts that lead up to the ebook launch. You can have blog posts that lead up to having somebody on a, uh, on a webinar with you or something to that effect. Uh, it works out really well when your content is done in advance rather than simply reacting to things. So real quick, let's go over to my screen and let me actually draw this out and make sure that it's pretty clear for you. Okay, so we're going to assume that you want to do something which is going to make some money. It doesn't have to necessarily be a money thing. It could be as simple as a calendar or some viral thing that you're doing, whatever it is that you know you have a goal for. Now, here's the thing about planning content in advance. Let's say that you're sitting way over here you know, today, like funky handwriting. If you have your calendar here, you can actually say, well, we're going to have this, and then this is going to lead into this piece of content, maybe a video or something of that effect. And then you've got uh, maybe a, uh, some type of a, a form they need to fill out in order to actually get involved. And then that leads into what you're shooting for. So this could be something maybe on a Monday. This could be on a Wednesday, this could be on a Friday, and then this happens the following Monday. It doesn't really matter how you do this, it's just that you can plan these things in advance and you can basically run essentially a pre-launch sequence into whatever it is that you want to do. And you can do this on a blog. See, most people in internet marketing, they tend to think of emails only when it comes to running a launch or something to that effect. You can also do the same exact thing with your blog, depending on how you've got it set up. Uh, because if you have regular readership, they're going to be following what you're doing in, the, in their RSS feed. Perhaps you're running RSS to email. But your content is just as much part of the overall marketing as anything else that you do. 
So planning these things in advance works out really well. It does. You can basically run what's called a story arc in here. Uh, if you guys are familiar with uh, English class, remember how you had you know the plot started and then it got the action got up really high and then there was a climax and then the action would come right down. Up here is the climax. It's kind of then you got this this thing going up here, and then it quickly goes back down here. Well, you could do the exact same thing when it comes to your content when you plan things in advance like this, even in terms of blogging. Okay, so the question that you need to ask yourself is how can you apply this to your blogging? It doesn't matter whether you're running a full-scale business right now or whether you're just trying to build up from somewhere. I'm sure that there's a way that you can use the, the idea of planning your content in advance. It could be as simple as just making sure that you're, thematically your blog actually kind of jives there for a little while. You're talking about a particular thing for a certain period of time. Uh, if you're running a contest or, or anything like that, you can have that content all work together in a seamless way. Maybe you're creating a series. People like series because uh, they, you know, they see step one, they see step two, they anticipate step three. So there's that anticipation factor there, and it can help increase your readership just by simply running a series. And all that is 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 basically that you're planning out your content in advance. So uh, ask yourself how you can apply this, and if you have any experience on how that you've seen other people do this or how you've done it for yourself, and you want to share that with the community, just post a comment below this video. I'd love to get your input on that and we can all learn from each other. So I hope that was helpful for you and I will see you tomorrow with day five.